Hi, my name is CW5 Keith Language. I'm the Aviation Branch Maintenance Officer with duty at AMCOM. I, uh, my duty is to put the face of the soldier to the civilian workforce at AMCOM and make sure they understand that there's a reason behind everything that we do at AMCOM. Here at our Quad A booth, we have an A64. Uh, one side of it is dirty, and uh, I will explain why. We have this dirty on this side. It's to represent the aircraft when it's out in the field with the soldier. Uh, some of the things that we like to highlight on this side are, you see red arrows up here with DSC on them. Those are our digital source collectors that we've installed on the aircraft uh, that provide us in, uh, information from component vibration levels back to uh, a collection point on the aircraft where we can download that information, look at it uh, at the unit level, and decide whether or not they need to replace uh, a component based on some uh, parameters that have been established for vibration levels. If not, then that, that uh, information can then be sent on forward to a uh, collection point at the Joint uh, Technical Data uh, JTDI, and uh, the engineers can access that information and uh, help determine vibration levels that are in exceedance where we need to replace the equipment. Um, back here towards the, behind the engine, we have a couple of components uh, for view that are part of our national maintenance program. We have the auxiliary power unit, which is uh, repaired at, uh, overhauled at uh, our facility at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, along with the hydraulic accumulators. Some of the other components that we uh, manage in uh, AMCOM is the AGPU, which is our aviation ground power unit, uh, reset at Letterkenny Army Depot, which is one of our facilities that we uh, manage and, and uh, command. And then as we move further back to the back of the aircraft, you also see uh, more digital source collector arrows up here on our tail rotor gearbox, and uh, there's probably a few on the intermediate gearbox. Um, again, this is to represent that these are some of the things that the soldier in the field will utilize to maintain this aircraft and some of the significant uh, improvements to maintenance that we have accomplished through efforts at AMCOM and PEO Aviation's uh, input as well. On this side of the aircraft is the clean side. This represents all of the uh, efforts that uh, culminate through reset programs and uh, return the aircraft to a like, like pre-deployment condition for that soldier. We're trying to provide them with a reliable uh, uh, training uh, platform, whether it's you know Apaches or even some of the equipment, so that as they go through the RFRGEN process, they have equipment that they can rely on to train and know that it's going to perform like it was before. Some of the components that, uh, some of the other efforts that we have are we manage CCAD, uh, Corpus Christi Army Depot. They have uh, the burden of maintaining and overhauling uh, components like the H64D main rotor head, our uh, T700 engine over here. Uh, and again, when these uh, components come in from the field and unserviceable, uh, they will be routed to Corpus Christi or some other uh, facility for repair. And uh, CCAD is one of those facilities that uh, is very critical to the aviation base as they do a lot of component repairs through our, for all the uh, aircraft that we have. And as we get back to the back end of the aircraft, again, it's, it's just the reset program is, uh, is more encompassing than just doing the aircraft. It's other components, it's other uh, aviation support equipment as well. The whole idea behind uh, the, what we're trying to portray here is that we bring everything together uh, through our programs and uh, efforts at AMCOM to give that soldier a reliable piece of equipment to train with as they prepare to, to go back to combat in the Arfogen process.